I'm Free Della DeVille, and I'm here to show you how to care for your plants like you care for your When's the last time you finger your fucking plants, bitch? Instead of trying to finger your man, you need to see if your plants need watering. This right here is a prayer plant. It got its name because as the day goes from day to evening, it slowly raises its leaves in the prayer position to save on moisture, and bitch, you might want to do the same and start praying that the shit works. This right here is a rubber plant. It got its name because its leaves produces a sap that is used to make latex. Now, it's not just for kind of making, bitch. You can use it for fucking irritating his skin, or you can rearrange his guts by making him a good old-fashioned houseplant salad with this in it. All right, that's all you get, bitch. See you next week on Child Gardening. Bye. 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 That's Marvel's replacement superhero, Black Planner? Wakanda forever. R.I.P. King. Everybody knows plants need water, sunlight, and tons of pizzazz. Gardening is a hobby for old white women with dead husbands. It's no place for a beautiful Brooklyn hipster like Fredella DeVille. He's a trap gardener, which means he gardens and he DJs. Check out his semi-pornographic Instagram feed for tips on mulch and stay for the tutorials about murdering people with poisonous plants. I'm told millennials are really into house plants. Probably because they'll never be able to afford a house. Much less a kid. Eh, at least nobody's gonna lock you up if you accidentally fry an orchid in a hot car. Truly the most pathetic generation. But if Fredella wants to turn his apartment into a rainforest cafe, I won't stop him. That's why I brought him to LA, where gardeners are called migrant workers in this week's celebrity profile. Fridella? The hell are you? I'm Audrey 3.0 and I'm getting hangry. Feed me! Let me get you some water and Miracle Grow. Oh, I want your sweet nectar. My blood? No, gross. I'm not a vampire. I was thinking of something a little saltier. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Oh, Fridella, is that your Christian name? No, because me and God don't get along. Mm-hmm. At all. Mm-hmm. How did you come up with the name Friedella DeVille? So Friedella DeVille was like a combination of my DJ name, DJ Freedom, and that evil bitch, Cruella DeVille. So uh -huh. I just like combined them together and just made a more evil entity. You're gardening and a DJ. What earns less money? The gardening, for sure. Oh, no, I hate to be a bother, but I had a light lunch. I could use a top off. Feed me! <laughs> Feed me, you blonde mother <laughs> Why do you want to be associated with that evil bitch? Because I'm an evil bitch. Yeah, but that evil bitch wanted to take little dogs and kill them and make them into a coat. Yeah, and I want to take plants and help them kill people and make the world a better place. Do you really want that? I do, actually, because plants make half up the world. They make up half the world? <laughs> Is that what you fucking said? Yeah. <laughs> they make up half the world just like water. So where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, but I live in New York. Where in New York do you live? Brooklyn. Brooklyn! <laughs> Bro -bro <laughs> What's the biggest difference between Atlanta and living in Brooklyn? I can get penis and a sandwich at 4 a.m. In Atlanta, you can just get what? Just the penis? Just the penis, till 2 a.m. Oh. What's your go-to sandwich? I love a Cubano, because oh. I love pickles. Jamon. Jamon. <laughs> <laughs> you said penis. Penis. So you're you're a gay man. Unfortunately. Do you think it's unfortunate? No, I was kidding. I mean, if you, if you could pick your own life, would have you picked gay or straight? If I could, I would choose to be a gay alien on Mars. Well, yeah, I guess. I, I didn't know that there was this third option. Yeah. Are you young? I'm young-ish. I'm 27. Oh, yeah, you're young-ish. How'd you get so into plants? I was sad, and I needed something to cheer me up. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I bought a plant and I couldn't stop and it gave me something to do instead of just laying in my bed all day. I'm fascinated with you because uh, I don't know a lot of young black people 
that are really into gardening, and that's probably my own fault, but uh, I, and the, the gay thing was a nice little sprinkle on top. A little dazzle, razzle, dazzle. And then the fact that you were trying to kill people was also interesting. This right here is a pothos enjoy. It got his name because you're gonna enjoy watching your man's guts get evicted when you feed him this shit. This shit will fuck him up more than the coronavirus will. It will fucking have his mouth all red and stretched out on the sides like a fucking joker. And this shit will fuck his skin up. He might even shout along or die. Have you ever actually poisoned one of your lovers with a plant? <sighs> I thought about it. I actually like prepared the salad and then something was like, Fridella, no. You can't murder people. No. I went back and I put it in my fridge and it's still there. That Ooh. salad is still there? Mm-hmm. That's not gonna keep. What's your favorite thing to grow? Well, if I could grow weed, it'd probably be that. Do you grow weed? No. People think I do. People think I grow really good weed for some reason, mm -hmm. just because like my plants are like amazing, but I'm like, no, I'm not about to come up with no hope on a DEA scope. Do you like marijuana? I love it. I literally can't eat without it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do any vegetables? No. I like vegetables, but I don't grow them. Are you a vegetarian? No, I love meat. Hence penis. <laughs> huh. Penis is a meat. When I was young and just a bad little kid. Shut it. We're not going that deep on this parody, bitch. <laughs> Sorry about that. I love your hair. Does the curtain match the drapes? No. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> what was it like acting alongside of Sylvester Stallone in Demolition Man? <laughs> Right over my head. It was Wesley Snipes. I usually get either like Dennis Rodman or Cisco with the blonde hair. Yeah, but you're tall. How tall are you? Six two. Cisco's a tiny little fella. Dun, 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 dun. How many robes do you own? Probably about as many plants as I own. Probably like 20. You have a lot in common with a Harvey Weinstein. He always wears robes and, I don't know if you're gonna like this or not, has been known to rub one out into a plant. What house plant would you say is the most erotic? The Majesty Palm. This motherfucker right here is called a Majesty Palm. This hoe is about as tall as me, and I'm damn near 40 feet motherfucking tall. Very erotic, the palm. But I wouldn't ejaculate into one. That's where I draw the line. That can't be good for it. It's not. Yet feces is good for it. Apparently, I prefer to use worm feces, because that's better. I'm not about to use my shit or anybody else's shit. You could have a composting toilet. I'm not doing that either. OK. <laughs> Your Instagram is a lot hornier than your YouTube channel. I'm a horny person. Okay, but I'm just saying, the two are very different. For instance, four fingers deep. Oh, I actually remember that. Okay, Instagram actually took that the f down. Of course they should, that's disgusting. Yeah, it was soap. It was soap, oh, I promise yeah, right, you. It was, it was soap. I promise you it was soap. Oh, uh, that's not you. what you were acting like it was. Nasty mother <laughs> Can plants be gay? Plants are actually pretty asexual. I think the only plant that I know of that's male and female is weed. I don't know if like house plants have male, female genes. You can make a pussy out of anything. Ooh, time to feed. I got the need for seed, man seed. I'm gonna need a Gatorade and a nap first cause I'm busting dust over here. I'm a growing plant free, Della. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, I got the perfect home where you'll never be hungry again. Bye! Bye. Almost time for fourth year. <laughs> Nothing queer about this. Boy, do my boys on the CB hear about you. <laughs> All right, start succulenting. For an additional $45 plus another 30 on top of that, you can see our entire Little Trap of Horrors parody on Disney+. Plus.